for the serial, see Red Barry. For the comic strip, see Red Barry. Donald Barry de Acosta, known as Red Barry, was an American film and television actor. He was nicknamed Red after appearing as the first Red Rider in the highly successful 1940 film Adventures of Red Rider. The character was played in later films by Wild Bill, Elliot and Alan Lane. Barry went on to bigger budget films following Red Rider, but none reached his previous level of success. By the 1950s, Barry was a supporting actor instead of playing leads in westerns. Early in 1955, he appeared as the bandit Milt Sharp in an episode of the syndicated series, Stories of the Century, starring and narrated by Jim Davis. Barry played Cleet in the 1956 western film Seven Men from Now, starring Randolph Scott. He guest-starred as Tanner in the 1958 episode, Bulletproof, of the ABC, Warner Brothers series Sugarfoot. Starring Will Hutchins, he was cast as Arkansas in the 1959 Sugarfoot episode, The Return of the Canary Kid. Barry appeared four times in the ABC, WB Western Cult, 45. Barry was cast as Black Clad Gunfighter in a 1961 episode, Last Stop, Oblivion, of the ABC, WB Western series, Maverick with Jack Kelly and fellow guest star Buddy Ebsen. Barry's voice in the television western sounded much like that of the character actor dubbed Taylor. About this time, he also guest starred on two other ABC, WB dramas, Bourbon Street Beat and The Roaring Twenties. He appeared as well in the syndicated crime drama U.S. Marshall, starring John Bromfield, and the NBC education drama series Mr. Novak, starring James Franciscus. On January 13, 1965, Barry was cast in the final episode of the short-lived Mickey ABC sitcom starring Mickey Rooney. Barry was cast as a freeloading friend who had saved Mickey's life in World War II. In 1966, Barry played Confederate soldier L.T. Farrow in the Western film Alvarez Kelly. Barry played a supporting role in the 1968 film Shalakor with Sean Connery. Barry played supporting roles in dozens of television series, particularly westerns. He appeared eight times on the long-running NBC series, The Virginian, in the 1960s. He appeared in six episodes of Michael Landon's Little House on the Prairie as farmer Judd Larrabee. In addition to acting, Barry was also a writer, writing the stories upon which the films Red Light starring George Raft and Virginia Mayo, Train to Tombstone, and Convict Stage were based in co-writing the screenplay as well as directing and playing the leading role of Jesse James in Jesse James Women. Prior to acting, Barry had been a high school and college football player. During the height of his Red Rider fame, he married B-movie actress Peggy Stewart. They divorced in 1944. On July 17, 1980, he died by suicide after a domestic dispute. He was estranged from second wife, Barbara, at the time. They had two daughters. He is interred at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Los Angeles, California. Selected Filmography Young Drive Kildare Outlaws of Pine Ridge Days of Old Cheyenne Black Hills Express Jesse James Women I'll Cry Tomorrow Seven Men From Now Frankenstein 1970 The Last Mile Walk Like a Dragon, Walk on the Wild Side, Twilight of Honor, Law of the Lawless, Iron Angel, Apache Uprising, Red Tomahawk, Alvarez Kelly, Hostile Guns, Fort Utah, Bandolero, The Shakiest Gun in the West, Shalakor, The Cockeyed Cowboys of Calico County, Dirty Dingus McGee, One More Train to Rob, Johnny Got His Gun, Junior Bonner, Blazing Stewardesses, Whiffs, Hustle, From Noon Till Three, Orca, Dr. Dracula, Hot Lead and Cold Feet, The Swarm, Hooper, The One Man Jewelry, The Dream Merchants, Backroads.